uh, you know, stormy weather here within the crypto setting, and we can start making some red snowmen. Just you know, all those red candles, they'll start bunching up and sticking, and let's make some, you know, red uh, red snowmen. And instead of putting a nose on them, but we'll be immature about it, and you know, put body parts elsewhere uh, just to make fun of price right now. But uh, no, my uh, whole community has been prepared for this. Hopefully, I am actually, you can hear me. Let me double check my sound. Check, check. It looks like you can hear me. Good. Uh, I know you can't see my chart because uh, my, my my charting has been spot on recently. Thank goodness. I, I'm on about a 14-day roll. And if you didn't um, see my video from yesterday, I don't think I know how to link it to you at the end of this. But it's the video that says, what does it say? Um, it says dead bounce and honestly the two videos before that that I do link you to at the end of that one of uh, yesterday's non live video it shows you how I use a mostly structural analysis for different tools to get exactly price right multiple days in a row not just in terms of direction but timing and where it went to exactly and how it would behave exactly and to always remember even though we're having a pump above the week one of my sweetest cats in my office it was cold outside to let him in so i'm gonna have a hard time not looking at him he's so cute <laughs> i like cats and he's my nice he's my nice one but um uh, come here buddy come here buddy come here um, so what we're going to do today is I purposely did not look at any charts uh, before this live show. I was managing a couple of trades that I got into last night because I've developed a method for me as a content creator where I can't day trade. I can't. Um, that, that's why I in my discord. So let's make myself smaller. Um, so I and I wanted to do a fresh um a fresh analysis so you can see actually i just this is my excuse for being lazy okay i i, I was lazy and i didn't prepare <laughs> no i'm just kidding i was managing some trades uh in a way that i got into them um overnight uh that i'm teaching some of my folks who don't have time to spend hours and hours and hours looking at five minute candles and getting in and out of trades which is why i offer that specifically on my live um or on my Let's see here. On my Discord, if you could see here, I have uh, so direct. So uh, the, all all tiers are open to see his follow ups. You know his trade follow ups, uh, his P and L statements. Uh, but the live trading is just for uh, the VIPs with an add on package, which on May will be different prices. So if you're planning on signing up for Discord, so you can see live trading or the Queen of Spot Trades on how she does it, how she creates tricks bots to buy up shit a 40 percent higher she's the she's like the spot trade liquidity queen um i taught her um the base of what she knows and out of everybody i've ever taught she has gotten probably as obsessed or more obsessed than i have with charts and she has taken it far at least in spot trading uh uh, uh um, market cap coins, I think 80 million under or 100 million under, which is the ones that create 60 to 70 percent wicks. I mean, she can, she she leads that type of stuff and just normal trades as well. So not everything's futures trading for the folks who want to stay away from there. But I have three futures traders. One is live right now. That is Carl, and Carl's the one who obviously is going to the futures chat way too much. See this futures? This is open to all tiers. So this is for like. Uh, this is for when the uh, lower tiers who aren't a VIP, they're, before they decide, okay, do I want to be a VIP or not, or they just live in a different country where they want to learn how to trade, they'll ask, hey, this is my setup, hey, this is where I'm, you know, stops, and obviously Carl, like, I think I need to pay this guy a lot more <laughs> because he's doing a lot of work, and so I cannot believe, I mean, look, this is scrolling back just four days, I mean, pages and pages, this is 422, I've scrolled up pages and pages here. 
Um, so, uh, but the uh, the VIP tier, which I'll be lowering to about 45, 49 bucks uh, next month. Um, so go ahead and make sure you look at that. And the uh, links to that are in my Discord section of all my communities um, or all my have all my. That makes so much sense, Tim. I need to I need to make like an automated thing where I don't have to 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 say the crap as I'm showing this. But here's my Twitter. Join my Twitter. How about that? Let's keep it simple. Now, closest bear to this too. If you want some bad ass updates just go get that um and uh i have a cat meowing at me so i'm slightly uh here look. this is my nice guy and um, i know that online communities are not everybody's thing so <clears throat> i'll take my ugly face off there um online communities are not everybody's thing i, I am personally not one to want a bunch of alerts on my phone um you know when i became a youtuber I was, my viewers essentially forced me to make a Patreon and then we realized Discord was better. Uh, and uh, um, I, I'm just, so if you're, if you're old like me <laughs> and you just can't stay in chat rooms, the VIP tier is going to be for you because I, um, even the uh, recordings from the, uh, the Cryptilian chats, the, the lower chat, which are half hour twice a week, I record them and I offer and I post them for the Cryptilian tier. It's just you can't go on and ask questions live with your microphone. But a lot of times if you ask a question on YouTube as a normal comment to the video, since it's a it's a unlisted video, I'm more likely to be able to answer your question like that. Or you can jump on the live calls as a member because I answer your questions first, right? That and super chats. Um and so that's uh so let's jump into bitcoin you know the routine here uh i will uh nothing's changed nothing's below or nothing's above the weekly 10 ema we're gonna uh, revise our targets and see um and and yes I've, I've taught all my cats to be held like a baby by the way in case you're uh yeah he's a baby he's the biggest baby though yeah, he's a big baby all right let's put this guy down He's a sweet cat. So let's take a look at Bitcoin and uh, let's see here. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then we'll open things up to questions to altcoins. You can start asking your questions now. However, if you wait to ask your, your questions about your favorite altcoins, I, they might not get lost at the top and I, I, I do super chats first slash, um, you know, if you send me... A, one ruble i'll probably use it as a normal i'll probably answer my community members first whatever depending on the super chat then um my um my member tiers if i if i have three member tiers or four three if i have four member uh tiers ask a question but one has a three month emblem i'll go to the longest tenured one first and that's how i'll do the questions but here we go i think i'm gonna have to take this cat Little guy's making a little bit too too much noise, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss him out in the trash. All right, buddy, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I think it got down into the forties uh forties last night. So here we go. We're going to start off with Bitcoin analysis. I'm going to use the weekly 10 and I think I'm going to use 30 minute candles here. And again, I specifically started this stream to where I haven't been analyzing Bitcoin, although I am in a Bitcoin short trade that got entered overnight using a trick that I'm showing some of my uh, VIPs right now, which allows you to not stare at a chart, but guarantee that you're only going to take a very, very small loss, but it doesn't guarantee you get into the trade very much. So let's say, for example, I don't want to give away the secret here, but um, and I can't. Uh, however, it's something to the effect of uh, when price is, it makes a big pump here. It, usually it makes a uh, two to three or four more pumps right i have a way to essentially uh, should i give it away i have a way to put a stop up here just make a guess like around this line before my limit cells are hit um I'll, and i'll or so i'll so if i imagine it's going to do three pumps i'll go one two three 
and then I'll enter only 10% here, 25% here, and then I reserve about 50% if I'm wrong and it keeps going up. And then if it keeps going up, the average distance of my, my average buy is up here. And it's only about a two to, th um, on 5X leverage, I try not to use, um, you know, uh, if you if it's 2% away, you, you lost 10% of your money that you put in, right? So typically my threshold is 1.1% my average entry needs to be away from my uh, my stop price. So you're getting kind of like VIP content here. So I, I was managing my trades, trying to figure out where to take profit and move my stops down uh, before starting the stream. So I haven't looked at anything, but I kind of know the market's down. So starting with Bitcoin, again, nothing has changed uh, because Bitcoin has not gotten above the weekly 10, which is this red line, and it has not come down to use that support. So very recently, uh, April, so six days ago, we've already covered this, went straight above. This is the video that I linked you to yesterday where I might have been about the only YouTuber on earth saying it has a 50% chance in the next four to 12 hours to come below here. I covered that extensively. I'm not going to go over there again. However, what we have going on here from structural analysis is let me pull up my main tool that's working. Uh, actually, I'll pull up two different tools. Uh, this is the, I'm going to, I'm going to scare you for the first one though. I'm going to scare you for the first one. Um, so be ready for it, but I don't want to scare you just to scare you, but let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to use my origin lines and as I'm trying to pull it up, let me run my uh, quick uh, little intro here uh, for the recording of this. <laughs> Okay, so here's what's getting scary. I made a video last week mentioning the four, you should look at the thumbnail, or it might be the title of it. It says the four ways Bitcoin can move over 2022. All right. And let me make sure no one's leaving comments that I, you can't hear me or something. We should meet live in Chicago. Yeah. Um, I would, yeah, meet live in Chicago. I love Chicago. I'm not a city person. I think cities stink. Well, they do stink, but just people in Chicago, like Chicago all the way up through like Minnesota and South Dakota and all that stuff. Everybody's just so damn nice. Um, Chicago people are so nice. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're like a Boston people who are nice. If you can imagine that they're they're they're, they're like kind of strong uh, stronger personality like uh, assertive but they're actually nice people in Boston are like the meanest people on average but Boston people are among the most educated too um, because they have all the universities there I, I'm not disliking Boston but um, yeah so I would meet up in Chicago I love Chicago um, you know I would do that and I'm actually getting ready to go to Chicago tomorrow my my wife's getting ready to go visit her uh, or no uh, yeah. No, yeah, I'm getting ready to uh, go to Chicago here to pick her up. I already dropped her off, so she's already in Mexico right now. But I'm getting ready to go to Chicago again. Um, please look. Yeah, oh, yeah, OLT's picking up. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so in the video that I saw, I said the four ways that Bitcoin can move in 2022. One of them had to do with my being scared that the so this is the master origin line which is the most important straight line in bitcoin history you will not find it on anybody else's youtube channel it is my line i created it do i offer uh people to steal it absolutely because if content creators stare it uh, steal it well i mean I always have claim to it because I, I have internet proof that I'm the one who built it, but more people will be able to use it because it works. It is the most important line. And you as a person, um, if you want, I, I uh, actually post the exact coordinates um, starting in 2011 to start current price exactly where the top and bottom should be. So it's easier to draw it and then just drag. Uh, I have it locked. It might not let me drag it. Um, control drag oh yeah it will and I, I show you how to do do that after you make the exact coordinates so i posted that recently to the cryptillion tier on my discord um so you don't have to make any guesses it's, it's exact exact coordinates date and time exact price but anyway and then you can just make your um, channels around like i just showed you but my problem with um with the idea that bitcoin goes down to 37k within the origin lines is that the distance 
away from the master origin line on the third try let me i gotta zoom out to like the 12 hour chart here now um and i get i can keep on the weekly 10. so all we have right now are the master origin lines uh, did i drag my master origin line like an idiot come on Sam, what the hell so my master origin line is in touch right so go to the 12 hour it should be in line Okay, well, my master origin line got all messed up. Fantastic. Good job. Anyway, uh, well, no, it's actually straight there again. Okay, that's weird. Whatever. Two day it works, 12 hour it wanted to go somewhere else. <clears throat> my, my master origin line has a mind of itself. But my problem with one of the four ways that Bitcoin could move is that if it goes to the bottom of the range of one of my, uh, my, 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 my structural tools that I'm using, uh, let me get rid of some of these is that I don't like the distance away from the master origin line because this is the third time it's gone below it. Um, let me use this guy here. So master origin lines here, price came below it once, got above, got rejected by the 10 and the, uh, let me put on monthly 10 and the monthly 10. See that? We talked about that over and over and over. I was yelling at everybody. It won't go, it won't stay over. Went down below it again. Here again, I yelled at everybody. It's not staying over the monthly 10. It ain't going to happen. Went down again. I actually got faked out here. I thought it would come up to try to hit the monthly 10 again, but this was an end attack fake out that I covered yesterday in my video. Went, uh, went below it. So, so uh, one, two, three, four. This is the actually the fifth time. And the distance it's going below is greater. It's greater. I mean, this is, this is set. If the stock market does poorly, people, okay, this is why I begged you yesterday. And, I'm, and I told you at the beginning, I'm disappointed with most of you who took that poll, at least like 100 people on uh, YouTube and about, I don't know, 69 people on uh, on Twitter, because I don't have that big of a following, obviously, right? I'm, I'm, I've only been YouTubing for 16 months, but I think the lar like 50% of you are holding 0 to 10% tether. You're going to get screwed. It doesn't matter if you need to, if you bought freaking, let's call it like XRP at a dollar and it's only at 70 cents now, you need to find a way to hold Tether. If you are caught with your pants down without the ability to buy altcoins, when Bitcoin goes down to either 18,300 or 21,800, it's going to get there this year. And altcoins are 95% below their wick high with the exception of something like Luna and Adam. Luna will probably only go down 65 or 70% from its high. But if you don't put yourself in the position to be able to buy altcoins when Bitcoin does this, you're going to regret it because that's how you make your money. You don't, unless you're a short-term time frame, time frame trader like some of the people on my Discord. They, they don't care if Bitcoin's 8,000 or 100,000. They're doing the same thing over and over. It doesn't matter to them. But the vast majority of people here are newer and are more of the investor 20 bag type, hybrid hodler people. I call them hybrid hodlers. And about half of my portfolio is hybrid hodler. And then about of I use I only put about five percent in futures just so I can uh, post alerts and stuff um, on my Discord. I don't like messing with futures as a content creator because it takes a lot of concentration. So uh, just if you if you don't if you're not ready for this, you're gonna get so you're. I'm telling you, not only are the coins you're holding, they're gonna go down another sixty percent, but you're not gonna have a way to buy the shit at a huge discount. And look at this. Look, look. Look at this last, this is the last frontier of the origin line, uh, freaking, uh, what do you call it? Channel. Okay. Look, look, let me take off the, actually I'll put on the, the monthly 10 and the weekly 10 so you can see how bad this is. Watch I, th this could guys, I keep thinking that late, uh, late April or early May might be the time that that Bitcoin starts capitulating but this is this is saying it could be sooner than what I'm thinking because because look so this is back here in um this is 2015 uh, this is the double bottom right so you had a bottom that went down to the origin line trading channel 
Do you think it's a coincidence it went exactly to the trading channel? No, it's not. It's the most important line in Bitcoin history. It went below it once, got rejected, came below again, got above the weekly 10 and stayed above and immediately got above the monthly 10. And two tries, below once, failure, below twice, above the 10 of the weekly, above the 10 of the monthly, recovery. Okay. Okay, okay that's, that's in 2015. The next time was after the uh, 2017K $20,000 top, where it took a whole year to capitulate on November 14th. And again, if you wanted to uh, uh, look at my TradingView uh, published ideas, you can see that back here in September, I made the call that Bitcoin was going to hit between $2,800 and $3,200 exactly on November 12th was going to be the fall. It's locked in time as an idea. If you don't believe me, go back and look. And I was only about 36 hours off and um, only half of my limit buy orders down here between 2800 and uh, 3200 got hit because I, I did a top heavy distribution thinking it might not go to 2800. So I was buying Bitcoin at 3K or not 3K at about 32, 3300 on a couple exchanges here and because it came down and hit the origin line at 3195 right and i had a lot of limit orders down here too but they never i had to cancel them and buy um after it because i knew it was going to touch us anyway so yeah and if you don't believe me it's let's locked in time it's a published trading idea in my in my ltc call um was this is when i realized i might have a calling for a ta um and ta and trading are two different things just because i could call that doesn't mean i knew how to make money from it trust me especially at that time uh i did not know how i i practiced trading during this time and it was tough and i practiced trading during an even harder time this is where i learned how to trade 2019 and 2020 were hard and i i got a system very fast to protect myself and i realized it's all about risk management obviously knowing your setups is uh, uh setups is good and knowing strategies to take profit but if you can just have a crappy entry system that works even 40 percent of the time but you can manage your risk down to uh, risk management down to like one and a half percent per trade you only need to be right like two out of 10 times. You don't need to be right that much. Um, and so once I realized it's all about risk management, I got a lot better at trading and it took it took a lot of time. Well, it took a lot of time as most of my people know. Anyway, so we're focusing on the origin line. Why I'm getting scared. Big drop capitulation on November 14th, even though my guess, my published trading idea was November 12th. Came down to the exact level I thought in that published idea hit the origin line because I already had the origin line there and I think it's actually tone vase uh, who used the terminology origin line um, because he realized it went back to the beginning of time so I did not invent that word but this is my line and I named it origin line because of something he said in 2017 he's a sequential trader it's very different type of trading but he's like the OG of crypto analysis by the way he, he, he is the OG of it uh, if you've never heard of tone base but his trading style is no one else does trading like he does on YouTube it's very it's very interesting anyway so even though I didn't invent the word origin line this I did I did make this this is the most important line in Bitcoin history so it used as support came up rejected by the weekly 10 went below the origin line got above the origin line used it as support on its second try did it go back below the red line no and where let's zoom into this watch then look look this is why i'm getting scared people look it got above the weekly 10 and rode the origin line at the same time so let me take off price look the red came to the origin line and during this time price stayed on top Okay, of course, it had already capitulated in, you know, a slightly different scenario. So now our capitulation hasn't even happened yet. Okay, so, so it's going to be more like this. Again, the white is the monthly 10. The red is the weekly 10. When, they, when the red goes below white, it is a bearish cross, similar to, you know, when the daily 10 goes below the daily 21, it's a bearish cross. You had a bearish cross. When two in important lines cross, what does price have the habit to do? To try to undo it. Price had a rally up and it fell below the weekly 10. Went, and so it went below the uh, origin line once, twice, three times, pump, below it again, capitulate on the fourth time. 
going bo- closing its lowest things below the last channel. Um, see that blue line, the third one down. It was its fourth try. I look at this. I, I'm telling you, folks, that, like, this could happen really soon. That's why I took those polls, and I'm getting pissed that people are holding tether because I know that other analysts out, out there. Oops, what did I just did I hit fireworks or something? Um, let's do a let's do a trombone. No, I know. <clears throat> I know that even other um, uh, Bitcoin TA analysts out there who I have opinions about that might not be the best, um, but I watch them just to know what they're thinking. I hear them talking about capitulation too. You're being warned even by people who I would suggest you don't watch, but I'm not going to obviously not name names, but, but even they're giving you great advice and you guys on average aren't taking it. All right. Now, if you've already bought and you're down on stuff, and you have a lot of capital on the side ready to DCA, that's a little bit different of a story, right? But if you're like me, you're a single in, uh, income uh, family and you have seven people. I live with five women, right? My wife's mom lives with us and I got four little kids. So I support a lot of people on one page on one paycheck. I, I can't be doing that. So I have to use crypto. I have to use other people's money to gain my crypto, right? So when I think that things are going to drop, I need to make sure I'm holding tether. And look, so look, uh, let's take off price. Focus on the monthly 10 and the weekly 10. What did I say? When two important lines cross, price typically likes to jump into it. What did price do right after these cross? Look, 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 here's the cross. Watch. When did price try to come into it? Bam, exactly at the cross. Okay, below the master origin. So below the master origin line once, rejected by the 10, just as I called. Below the master origin line again, got rejected by the 10, just like we called on my channel. Went below again. I did not call this correctly. I was incorrect. I did not call this correctly either. Um, it was the third most likely thing that happened there. And, uh, it, it's because the Fed is, is all the Fed. The Fed's spoofed everybody. So I called this one wrong, and I thought this was going to come up a little higher. Anyway, so went so went, went below um <clears throat> went below damn it went below once rejected twice rejected three times fake out okay it failed. This is called a failure. So see this white monthly ten EMA. It never used it as support. If you zoomed in on the five minute candle on this day, you could see a little bit of support, but it technically failed it, which means it used it as resistance once, twice, three times going below the master origin line for the once, twice, three, fourth time, fourth time after this bearish cross, bearish cross, fourth time going below it's opening and closing dailies below the last trading uh, zone here so let me take off these EMA guys this is why I'm telling you this is why I'm pissed y'all aren't holding tether because I'm here to try to help you have the most profitable crypto journey possible and, and you're not like you're not even listening to other people who you know I don't have the greatest opinions about but they're giving you good advice they're talking about shits could po- easily drop and if you're listening to pure, and I know that there are channels that, um, <clears throat> some a, bi- a bigger channel who used to be pure moon boy no matter what, and he's changed his tone. Even he has changed his tone, and he's trying to prepare people for a possible capitulation. Like YouTubers who are out here, even if they are good or suck or whatever your opinion is, I, I think the majority of them are trying to prepare you, and you're not preparing yourself. Unless y'all just lied on the poll to make me bitch and rant. I don't know. Like, are you tricking me on these polls? Right? Let me take another poll. <laughs> I mean, but but I'm trying to help you. And I know that the 55% of you that said you had 0 to 10% tether, I know you're not sitting on tens and tens and tens of thousands or six figures of cash sitting on the side to wait to buy Bitcoin when it's just around 20K. Because I guarantee you, Bitcoin's not going straight down to 20K. It won't happen. It'll either come up shy around 21.3, so people can't long it, or it's going to go down, wick down to like 17.8 or 18.3 to to um, to uh, liquidate all the longs that people are taking at 20. It'll do one of those two things, and it might take a year to do it. <laughs> I didn't mean to move myself. Um, let's just go ahead and play a... Um, um, uh, just make sure give you guys me give me a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. 
and I'm really happy that my returning viewers left, I think, almost as many comment as the sex bots and the uh, spammer scammers on my last video. Thank you. Thank you. It helps. Like, um, it actually was the number one video in views for the time allotment. And it's because you, a lot of you put thumbs up and left me a comment, comment, even if it's just hitting a period and hitting enter, don't leave your tampon. If you're leaving the, your period there. Okay. All right. And I know a lot of people hate me saying that, but whatever it gets you like it works. So even if it's just a period without the tampon, just leave me a comment. Um, even if it's you suck, LOL, but make sure you say LOL. So new people don't come on here and see a bunch of people say you suck. You suck. LOL is fine. <laughs> and if you put just you suck, well, then I'll, I'll keep it on there too. Whatever. Um, cause I, I'm telling you to say, just say something. Um, you can say, Tim, it looks like you need to take a shower or, or leave, just leave some comment. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be nice. It could be funny. Try to be funny. Make me laugh. Anyway, look, look at this, this last line. Closure below, open and closure below, open and closure below, open and closure below, open and closure below. The last line below the origin line. Did this happen the last three times the price went below? Let's go take a look. The first time price went below the master origin line, nope, zero closures and opens. Next time, nope, zero closures and opens. Went below again, nope, no zero, uh, or zero closures and opens below this line. Again, nope, zero opens and closures below the last line. This time, oh, multiple and take off price. Do we have this nasty bearish cross? Yes, we do. The monthly uh, 10 has is now above the weekly 10, which is bad. So, I mean, guys and gals, capitulation could happen soon. <laughs> Please be ready. All right. I've already given you my downside downside targets. Um, and uh, let's just take a look at it. And I'm doing this fresh. But that is this is the one thing that's worrying me the most that my guess it's actually it already is late april so this is when i was telling you that you can see i guess i didn't realize it's the 26 already so i did say late april or early may i mean this could be getting really close if i had to guess i would guess may 6th is when you see a very very large candle with a uh, red candle with very very large volume could be may 2nd to may 6th is my guess um my second, my, my third best guess would be Friday, April 28th or Friday, April 29th. So Friday, April, tw whatever is the last Friday of April is, um, cause I don't have enough coffee in my brain right now. Um, or between, uh, or between the second to the sixth of May is when you're going to see that first high volume, nasty flash crash. That's when, you know, capitulation starting and it's it, guys, it's, it is, it's, it could be about to happen. I don't think this is a bear trap. You are opening and closing candles below this last trading channel and it's never happened, which means Bitcoin is very, very likely, very likely going to go to bare minimum, the next origin line down, which is what? So if it takes its time to get there, that's 31.4. Let's see what that aligns with, okay? Like guys, I'm telling you, this is probably going to happen. It's it's becoming statistically likely at this point from a midterm time frame standpoint. Even though that that monthly closure above the uh, monthly ten in in March, I think it was a fake out. It was an end of month attack, and and it made me. I I said I was bearish the whole time. It made me a little less bearish, but it was a fake out. Um, let's look at the macro range tilt. So that would be going below the tilted range. The, this is this is the bottom of the tilt. See this tilted range? Let me take off my origin lines. See that? Okay. So this is so. Let me make a pointer of where this would go uh, with the with the other mass with the origin lines. Go right there at thirty one four. Okay. Let me get rid of this stuff here. This is where it's going. Okay. Let me make like um. Yeah. I'll just point to it. This is good. So. It'll, it's going to break below this, which will also help initiate capitulation. This is, this is the second best tool, the tilted macro range, which last video I offered you, please snapshot it. This is how you set it up. This is how you put an object tree and make it disappear in one click. All right. The macro range that's non tilted. What does that hit? It hits the exact bottom. It hits the exact bottom is the next origin line. It looks like the bottom of this range is going to be hit, folks. And when it happens, because the distance away from the master origin line, 
that's going to trump the bottom of that range holding it up. I'm telling you, it's the most important line or straight line. It is the most important straight line in all of Bitcoin history. It's the fourth time below in history when it opens and closes candles below it. That means capitulating and starting. There have been zero exceptions. Bearish cross, weekly 10 going below, monthly 10. The, like, it's this, this macro range here. Yes, it says it could bounce and Bitcoin could stay in a range, but it's not probable. Is it statistically um, is it statistically possible, like 10% chance, 30% chance, um, something like that, where if Bitcoin crack went when Bitcoin comes down to about 31,400, could it bounce from there? Probably, but it'll probably do a lower high and then crash through. But I'm thinking when it comes down there, it ain't popping up. I think it's going to keep going down. And it's going to get in it's going to hit like 21,400 bucks is my guess but it looks like bitcoin is headed towards 314 like soon i mean i just i'm not saying this is the most prob my top most problem this is more, this and this is not short term time frame so again i said i don't want to scare you it's not like it's happening tomorrow but it is probably going to happen soon and i told you my three guesses between the 2nd to 6th of may or as er or the first um, fl uh, flash crash, high volume, four hour candle that you see might be the last Friday of this month, right? We're not on a Friday yet. So you have a little time to fix your polls and not have 59% of you and zero to 10% tether. Doesn't matter what you do, um, you don't get screwed. Like the chance of this bottom holding up because of the distance from the master origin line, it's very low, 31.4 is gonna hold up. All right, and then I already did. So, what other tool do I have? The uh, channel March, ah, and that's falling way out of the March channel. So it falls off of the March channel, which this has been working the best. We've analyzed this. This is the best working tool uh, since January twentieth fall. If I zoom in, I mean that's how I've been getting priced like perfectly. I mean, uh, I, I I don't know. I I since uh, the the Fed spoke here and I got things wrong because it was the third most probable since that point since April fourth, I think my calls on YouTube have been. I mean, I, I'm on a roll here, and that's that's why yesterday I said, please forgive me when I'm wrong because I'm going to be wrong soon. Law of numbers because I've been so spot on, but it's going to break out of the channel. It's going to break out of the tilted macro, macro tilt. I almost said macaroni and cheese. I must be hungry. Macro tilted range channel, which is the second most useful tool. The non tilted macro range. It's going to hit the exact bottom. But when it hits the bottom, it's likely not going to hold up because of the master origin line, the distance away. Please find a way to be holding stable coin Pokemon cards, not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm telling you, this is getting close. It could, and if it, if it doesn't capitulate till July, who cares? At least you got yourself ready. Let's say Bitcoin does another pop up to 50 bucks and you come to my channel with Tim, I decided to move in tether and you made me miss out on 30% gains on Luna. Well, Hold your horses, wait 45 days, and see where price is. It's probably going to be closer to 31K to 20, 20K, right? You could have a baby pop, but you need, and that's a, if, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get a rally to 50K first, that is when, I mean, shit, I might hold 100% to, and eh, not 100, because um, I, I, I have too much uh, idea and I stake it. So I, I, I might get as high as, um, and I'm not selling all my dash ever or all my mover ever either, but, um, uh, I won't say ever, but not this, not for four years. Um, I would probably put myself in 75% tether if we got a, a pump up to 50K. And I don't care if it goes up to 60K. I want to be sitting on tether if you're fortunate enough to get that rally. But I'm telling you, it doesn't look like you're going to. So this whole thing is about shame on most of you not holding tether. My analysis has been straight on. And I'm telling you, since my analysis has, has been you know very good. I'm warning you that the next time you have a drop that goes below 37K, that could be it. And that could initiate that initial four hour high volume candle because it's it's the time. It's late April, early May is coming up. Be holding tether. 
click this video right here if you're new and you want to learn how to set up a chart to make more money in crypto watch this video right here to watch my latest bitcoin analysis you need to watch it if you missed it you're going to learn a lot more stuff you're going to make more money in crypto with your pokemon cards you got timified worldwide peace sorry i'm, I'm mad at this whole time because i'm mad you're not holding tether <laughs> so we'll see you next time All right, that was, uh, I'm not actually getting off. This, that was the ending for the recording I'm making. So I, I'm not, to, I'm not leaving. I'm still here. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. That's my Bitcoin analysis. Um, it looks like, I mean, honestly, guys, it looks like it's coming down to 37, nine. Uh, it, uh, so this is the March channel. Uh, shit. All right. What was my YouTube guess from yesterday? So I said 38 two. So it's, so it's still kind of holding that up. Um, it did that and it got a fake out. It made a lower high, which means it, it's going to make a lower low. It's going to hit. Um, it might, it might only come down to, th yeah, 37.9. It looks like price is getting ready to come down to 37.9, folks. Uh oh, you can't see my chart. Stupid. Um, on, so I'm using the quarterly channel, which over my last three videos, I've shown you how to set up and told you to screenshot it. It looks so because you have a local high, a lower low, a lower high, this statistically will have a higher chance of making a lower low. Could this be the first lower high or higher low where it starts recovering? Yes, but the distance from the origin line is calling otherwise. This is going to start heating up to the downside. Lower low, lower high. What's most likely next? Lower low. Next lower low likely will stop at 37.9, a wick below, maybe 37K land. Okay, so let's put a pin in it and use the other tools now that we have to devise lower. Um, so that was my guess from uh, the 22nd, and obviously it worked perfectly, right? Remember when I said it's going to come down to 38.2? Look, 38.2. And then I said it's going to come back up and rest around the 30, uh, 39 uh, to 39.9 area. It actually went up a few hundred dollars more. Did exactly that plus a couple hundred dollars. But all right, so I'm telling you, it's more statistically likely that this is gonna be hit as of now for this tool. I'll put a pin in it, kind of like label it. And then I'm gonna take off this tool because I don't know if this is the most probable yet. I gotta mix it with my other tools. Macro range, ooh. Ugh. Yeah, this is saying it's going to come around there and then make a lower high and once that happens then it's going to tank and that's going to be early may so the uh non-tilted macro range says that this will come this will uh go below this area of support here kind of like this make a lower high but the next time it comes down it's probably going to tank so it's 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 going to probably hit that 37 2 area make a lower high and then really accelerate this is kind of what it's looking like folks um and again i'm using I, I think acceleration because it's going to want to try to bounce here but it won't use it as support it'll find support under it make a lower high and that's when fed uh, that then the people are going to start sell the in the in the um uh, in the uh, traditional markets are going to start selling off and it's going to get bad. So, um, so that's the second tool. It's kind of agreeing with that. And then the third tool is the macro tilde range, uh, range. And look, it points straight to the same spot. So 30, so 37, nine, 37, nine looks like the magic number. So uh, the first and second most useful tools are aligning exactly to 37.9. That would be my uh, point. And obviously, when as I'm giving my alerts to my live traders, who then guide their teams who are trading with them on other coins, most of them don't trade Bitcoin, um, even though I like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum specifically <clears throat> because of the liquidity. And I love being able to market sell and market buy, even though it costs more money. I don't care. I think it's better. Um, especially when I'm, I'm at my computer and I want to stop out. Um, but, uh, you know, I want, you know, if I'm using throwing five dig, heavy five digits around, you can't do that on freaking trade and anything else besides Bitcoin and Ethereum on KuCoin futures because the liquidity is not there. Uh, what liquidity just means you sell where you think you're selling instead of I'm selling at 39,900. Uh, I hit sell, but half of it sold 
three percent lower than what I thought, and that's called slippage, and that's all because of liquidity, right? So just for people who that that word it just means you can sell. There are enough app buy, uh, buyers for apples if you are trying to sell a lot of apples. If you're that's liquidity. If you want to sell a lot of Bitcoin, but there aren't enough people willing to buy Bitcoin for the the price you want to sell, like apples. Well, the first few people who are buyers for apples will come, but you still have half more. And then you have to yell, these half, these apples are half off. And then people buy them. Well, you sold the apples a lot lower than what you thought. That's liquidity, right? <laughs> okay. And that's that's probably the best analogy possible. That, that's a good analogy for what liquidity is. You got lucky during the live stream. All right. So we're almost an hour in. You know what my target is. Let's start looking at live questions. Sorry, I'm getting goofy. Um, all right. Uh, so my face is big. Let's undo this. All right, so I purposely didn't post all over Twitter uh, with reminders and all over YouTube, um, the, the YouTube post about reminders of this live chat, and I have as many people in the live chat, and I put a lot of effort into setting up those scheduled alerts, so... <sighs> and th this is an experiment. I have more on this time than I did last uh, time with zero announcements besides I'm going live now. So thank you for being here, people. I um, I purposely didn't uh, use the uh, alerts or the uh, whole, you know, schedule systems out. And I got you here. So here we go. All right. I have a super chat from Leon Laavi. I don't know if I see your question. Let's uh, check one, two. Check one, two. Small, hopefully you were, oh, yeah, because you, I said, let's go. And you said, check one, two. Yeah, I was waiting for it to go live. Um, Tim, words can't describe how much I appreciate your channel and all of its contents. Can't wait to join your Discord in May. Yes, I can't wait to see you in May. It's going to be pretty badass. Uh, how how low are we going, Tim? I just said uh, the very most probable next target is 37,900. It looks, it, it looks, it looks it looks like it's going straight there, um, probably with no bounce either. Um, I wouldn't say anything more than a five-minute candle bounce. You might have, uh, you might have a shit. You might have a series of uh, like one of these on the five minutes. So, but you won't see this on the four-hour chart. It'll just be four-hour red candle wick, four-hour red candle wick, four-hour red candle. And it's gonna hit. So four hours should be straight down there with obviously you know red wicks to the upside, which on the five-minute chart will look like this. And so depends on the time frame, but four hour, you know, um, two to four hours, there'll probably be no reprieve and it's probably coming straight there. So 37, 37, nine is my target. And honestly, when once it gets there, it could go a lot lower, but that's where it's heading next. I mean, with an extremely high percentage and probably with, with, with no relief. And I'm glad I'm in my shorts. Uh, um, yeah, I uh, had a conversation with somebody last night and I said, Hey, I just found a way KuCoin, uh, I don't know if it's a loophole, but they allow us to do something that they might not actually, I don't know, it's it's better than any other uh, trading website for futures. I was like, I can't believe they have this feature so I can actually go to bed with my stops in before my limit sells hit so I can go to bed knowing that if I get into a trade, I can't lose the, more than 2% of my money. And I did it and I'm, up, I'm probably up 800 bucks just as I sleep with it. And I only leave 5,000 bucks in my futures account um, because I I don't like trading futures as a content creator. I don't, I, I only, you know, I'm trying not to use a, I'm actually using it more as a position to buy things after things capitulate, but, um, I do it to practice and uh, to create content for my other folks so they can trade with me. I leave a little bit in there anyway, but still waking up with 800 bucks when I went to bed with n nothing open. It's just a position that was set with stops. Like if you want to come on, I can teach you how to do it um, on one of the on the uh, you'd have to be a VIP, though. Uh, and then my VIP, Carl, um, who I've already showed you. Um, let me draw this over. He he he, he has even more genius, man. Carl is, I don't know, um, he said about the smartest thing I've ever heard in terms of trading specific to hedge, how to cover himself when I'm a person out there saying there's no trade, it's in the middle of the range. He, he has found a solution for it, and honestly, it, in May, I'd wait till May when I lower my prices, so it's half off. Um, you'll have to buy the add-on though to get to his videos. Uh, that it would be worth enough just to ask him what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, um, and you might find out that you know I like a mixture of Carl and Kazi and um, d uh, uh, directs uh, trading styles. So it might not be like you just hang out with him all day, but 
it'd be good to ask him um, because that that's what it's there for. So you would need to uh, join the add-on of his channel or the the super add-on um, in May, which is the VIP for fifty bucks, but then access to all three live traders, no, all four live traders, one spot, three futures, and ask Carl that question, what I'm talking about, because I keep talking about it because it, it is genius, and I've never heard anybody else talk about it. And it makes it so that the, all the times that I tell you, it's in the middle of the range. This is no trade. There's no edge. And he, he found a solution. And it is, I don't know. I, it was it was genius. It's nothing short of genius. All right, Tim, your channel doesn't describe how much I appreciate your channel. Okay, good. Yes, thank you. I'll see you in May. Um, guests in Greece. Hi, Tim. Can you please look at... Oh, yeah. Oh, I used to own like 100,000. No. Uh, my OLT got up to about 80 or 100,000 right when it hit 10 cents. Um, I sold a lower... I It really crashed, made a lower high, not even where not anywhere close to 10 cents so i only got out at about four and a half cents um yeah, state but i made a lot of got good money from staking uh, from it i wish though obviously no i actually i don't wish I, I don't take that back i um i am glad that i did it um i am glad that i did it but if there's a capitulation olt might be a small cap that has good staking that you might have good reason to look into because as a company it is actually doing real things it's even more real things than cardano is doing cardano only has 10 protocols on it and only like 320 million dollars of logged value in it that's not doing much this tiny little ass coin is beginning its i mean look at it versus this is versus bitcoin look how many other this is like better than ethereum's chart versus bitcoin look at what this is doing now is the dollar price in cents lower now than it was back here yes because bitcoin was at 69k right there so it got up to 10 cents right now it's probably at 5.5 cents if you look so because this is the btc chart right and my math, I'm really good with math, so I can tell you that I bet price is close to five and a half cents if we had guess. Watch. Because of the price of Bitcoin. Watch me be way off, and I'm, I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> but, but let's see. Eh, I was way off. I looked like it. It's higher. Damn. OLT is doing well. Holy shit. Damn. Well, they're doing something right. I, man, well, maybe I wish I didn't. Uh, maybe I should have. Uh, oh, in retrospect, I should have kept staking. But if there is a capitulation and this, if this comes down with it, which it might not, this could be kind of like your, this could turn into a chain link because chain link didn't go down during capitulation. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, this is just strong. It's in a trading channel like this. If you sell the top and buy the bottom, which should take about 30 days at a time, if you trade this, that, no, it's 100 days. So you would actually need to, if you wanted to actually trade this, if there's enough volume. So if you wanted to trade this instead of staking it, you're not going to be able to trade it with much more than, um, than a few thousand bucks because the liquidity isn't there. So you can't just drop... You know, you can't buy a thousand bucks at a of a time of this small cap coin because remember the liquidity. That means you think you're buying you think you're buying here, but you actually bought most of it up here for like eight percent more. That's all so if you're gonna play around with this small type of cap, it's typically you you'd wanna hit it with a couple hundred bucks, whether it's a buy or sell, not financial advice. Um, or you specifically limit sales only, but if you're patient and patient like me, I just like market buying a lot um, because I because KuCoin's fees are low anyway. And if I want to market buy, I market buy. But this is not something you want to market buy or market sell more. I would guess 200 bucks at a time because then the bots are going to realize, hey, there's a real human here hitting buying and sell, and they're going to screw you. I'm telling you. The bots will realize there's a human. Hey, we got a real person here. We're going to do stupid shit with the price and you're going to get screwed. So don't do more, more, you know, don't try to trade this with, um, you know, you can do it with like 5,000 bucks, but never try to market buy or market market sell with that much money at a time with three digits. Don't do it. Um, I would. Uh, so if you wanted to trade this sucker, it looks like it might have a pretty playable range here where and you might be able to trade this better than you can actually stake it. 
But it's good for the company if you stake it too. But it's also good for the company to have trading volume. So either way, if you trade it or stake it, it's good for the company. This has this actually acts very predictably. So this would be a good time to sell, and a potential good buy point would be on the Bitcoin chart when it hits down here. Yeah, that's following the rules per, almost perfectly. Um, so a, a little. So this trading channel starts uh, February 2021, and you're feel free to copy these yellow ones. And that's the way it's trading. You sell the top and you can buy. Um, I wouldn't buy the, the top of the point. So the, these two middle ones, um, so this yellow and this yellow is the point of control. I usually like to buy the bottom of the point of control and be ready to get stopped out in case it comes to the bottom. But I always try to pick that up. Very predictable chart. That's how you roll. But it looks like it is going to take a breather now. Uh, second most probable thing is it, it uh, has a failure above that yellow line and then comes down to the bottom later or to this. So it could come above this trading channel, but if it does, it's going to correct hard. And that's OLT4. Yeah, I used to own a lot of this stuff and staked it. Um, but uh, anyway, all right. So, hey, Tim, can you please look at oh, So that's OLT, uh, KDA. K yeah, everybody wants Kadena. Um, Okay, so I'm going to start recording Kadena, uh, ticker KDA. I don't know why I don't have this saved on my um, on my uh, chart yet, but this, um, there we go. K Kadena, Tether, that should be good. All right. It's getting its butt kicked, folks. It's the same. I mean, I told you, if it the last time I, I covered this, I said if it starts, if you start seeing daily candles, or tw I'm on the 12 hour chart, let's go to the daily. If you see daily candles close below this box, it's going to drop fast. And look, it hasn't it hasn't done it yet. It, it, it faked out below. Here, let, here, let's put a pin on that. Look at the five minute chart. Watch this. It went below it. But it got back in a hurry saying, holy shit, we cannot close this day here or else we're toast. So buyers are paying attention to this line. So you do have a group of people of buyers who know that if they cannot defend this line. So people are actually, actually, this is not, this actually looks like it's more people driven, not bot driven. So this would be a technically an easier um, trading is never easy, but this could be an easier coin to trade if you like it and like to accumulate it and you want a 20 bag or just trade it for accumulation like I do with Dash and Mover and uh, XRP. Those are kind of like my hybrid HODL coins, even though Mover hasn't done jack shit and I haven't been able to do anything with it, but Dash is very tradable. I, I love trading Dash and XRP uh, for an accumulation style, not for a US tether increase style like I do for futures. Anyway, um, so there, this looks like this is, I, I don't know. I would bet that most trading volume on this is by people. Um, it's being defended here and it's, be, it was defended here. Um, however, remember from my last, uh, th uh, thing though, uh, my last analysis on this and I will, I will link you to my last analysis at the end and I'll point over here and you need to watch it because I give you specific details on the importance of this line and how you need to draw it in here. And because it broke below this line, what's likely going to happen is as buyers defend this, you're going to get a lower high. If it happens to get as high as $7.42 and it, it, if you're lucky enough and you're one of those people from my polls not holding tether, not financial advice, this is where you start holding tether. Just like during altcoin season in February, March and April, I was yelling at people to take profits and almost none of you did, which is why most of you joined my community because you realize, oh shit, this guy was right and I screwed myself. Even though I've made a couple bad calls too, I've been responsible for not being perfect, particularly around May 28th of uh, Bitcoin's drop from 58K to 29K. I didn't get it right. I made a couple of mistakes, but for the most part, I'm among the only YouTubers who are giving you the idea that selling into a rally is a good idea. Where else do you hear this? Hmm? Hmm? Not very often, right? Um, I mean, even from analysts. Um, actually, well, so I guess analysts do give that tip a little bit more. But the but the news people, who, which are the majority of YouTubers, you don't really hear them say that. All right. Um, so oop, I just deleted the most. So this is the most important straight line in KDA. And you need to. And I'm going to link you to my uh, video at the end of this. But the best case for this is that buyers uh, get this up. It, uh, 
up here and the best case is about 740 but it doesn't mean you wait for 740 uh, to be hit to get the tether i mean i'd be getting the tether like here somewhere around 630 and like I'd get in some here, 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 here. If I held a lot of KDA, I would be guys. I'm telling you, somewhere between like six and a quarter to uh, seven fifty. Um, this is not financial advice. I'm talking about Pokemon, Pokemon uh, KDA. It is Japanese. KDA stands for carrot. Carrot Pokemon card. These are the numbers. This is how much carrots cost. Not financial advice. Please be holding tether. And again, if a daily closure start closing below this magic line of, you know, roughly $4.75, it's going straight to $1.60. Will it do it in one day? No, you're gonna have lower highs, low pumps. It's good, but it's going to go down there. And if that happens, if it starts, it's here's the scary thing about KDA. If a KDA starts that journey before Bitcoin capitulates, and Bitcoin doesn't capitulate until like May sixth or something, and KDA is already starting that, KDA is going down even farther during the capitulation. Like. Okay, so if it can hold that before capitulation, it might only capitulate down to a dollar seventy-five, which should be around, I would say, sixty to seventy percent. Yes, exactly. That's great. Yes, sixty-five percent. But if it's if it's already begun this before Bitcoin capitulates, it is going down sixty-five percent from there, and it's gonna go even lower. It'll hit. It'll hit about the bottom of the box. It'll probably wick past. So if it, if the if it does start doing this before Bitcoin's capitulation, it'll probably wick to here. But it won't. It was. But it'll come right back to this box. So it would. I would say absolute bare minimum is a dollar five. And it'll. And you probably wouldn't be able to buy much Kadena there because too many buyers would be there. And it'll come smack down and come straight into this box. And you should have plenty of time to be able to buy it between a dollar forty and a dollar ninety. You'll have a month over. You you would have weeks to be able to buy it in there. But it's going to move straight there. And could you have a baby bounce at two fifty because of this? And could it actually hold two fifty? Maybe. That would be my second most probable scenario is 250 actually does hold because of these structures. But I think that's that's just where you're going to get during capitulation. Uh, this line right here, this 250 line, that's where it's going to try to find support, lower high, and then it's going to find this box uh, that I've given you. That's KDA. But you have a reason to be scared. Most important line KDA history. It broke below it. Most important horizontal in KDA history. It's breaking below it. it Bitcoin. Is breaking below the master origin line. Getting ready to have, like, you're getting ready to be able to buy this lot lower. So if you're holding KDA and not Tether, I just gave you Pokemon advice. Education, entertainment only. And again, when I'm trying to get people to realize you need to be holding Tether, I get loud and I'm a little meaner, but usually people like it because if you don't do it, or when you don't do it and you see that I'm right, which happens with about 90% of the viewers, you're at least going to come back and appreciate at least Cosas Verdes was freaking yelling at me, staring at me in the screen, pointing at me with his finger, trying to get me to sell Pokemon cards. I didn't do it, and he's the only one doing it, and I regret it, so now I'm going to listen to him, and that's probably about 80% of the people in my Discord. That's how it works, because I don't listen to people. I try to reinvent the wheel. I get it. You got to burn yourself first, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm yelling at you for a reason. Like, just freaking don't i'm not saying trust me i'm not a financial advisor but i'm being very serious about pokemon card trading i'm very passionate about pokemon cards i just gave you the numbers please freaking listen to them that's kda hopefully you like my freaking rant and get used to it because i'm getting i'm getting scared for everybody that you're not holding tether and shit's gonna tank all right kda there you go in your face all right I got a little, I got a little heated during that one, but um, I know KDA is a big one, and I know that uh, fifty to sixty percent of you are holding zero to ten percent tether. I just told you when, just told you when. All right, I got a little emotional. Um, so Leon, thanks for the super chat. I don't see a question from you though, buddy. You don't. I mean, thanks for the support. If you wanted to support Leon, you could just join the loyalty tier. And um, it's, I think it's like two bucks a month. And when you ask a question, I answer your question before non-members and non-super chats. So, I mean, and that's a Euro. So that's, you know, that's enough to, you might as well just join the loyalty tier. And the reason why the, and that's the one that during my, where you see the, um, what is it called? 
uh what button does it what what is it not discord the tier join the join button yeah um the join button describes to you what the tiers get um the uh in the lowest tier is mostly for support but what i do for you is during sir during these uh chats if you have a question i'll answer your question before other people's unless there's like a five dollar ten dollar super chat right so i mean instead of just leaving me money which is great might as well just join the tier so i answer your question first and he didn't ask a question but i thank you for your services sir all right or or whatever gender you are um you might you might be gender tree i i don't know um but sir or ma'am um it reminds me of that meme it's, it's ma'am <laughs> all right all right but but I'm not one, you know, I don't really get into politics and stuff, but uh, I don't also like to assume people's gender because I know some people do get sensitive, regardless of my opinion about it. I, I don't want to make anybody have a reason not to watch my channel, so I want to be respectful to everybody. Because um, actually, I like it. I actually get along with people I disagree with more. Um, I, I like, uh, and I love people who like to argue. Because <laughs> because then it's just you get really good conversation. You get to the nuts and bolts of why you disagree. I don't know. And I think Americans are being taught. Um, I'm going on a rant now. I think Americans are being taught to villainize people with opposite, um, um, you know, with opposite opinions. And um, you're uh, most people don't realize the 50 percent of national news is propaganda. So you know how your news is saying that Russians are having, you know, like a wall around Russia so uh, Putin can control the information and saying, oh, they bombed their own schools. That wasn't us. Or, oh, you know, that's they, we talk about there. There's Russian. Pro no, half of your shit, unless it's about a tornado or a hurricane, that's not propaganda. The natural disasters and fires are not are about the only things that aren't or if somebody dies like or a politician or wins a, an election. That's not propaganda. But a, half the shit that you hear on your news is not it's not reporting the truth. It doesn't matter if you're right or left. It's not trying to tell you the truth. It's trying to get you to form the opinion they want you to form. That is over 50% of all news. And it's teaching people, I'm going on a rant, it's teaching people to villainize folks who don't hold the same opinion. And it's, in Amer at least in America, I think Europeans are a little smarter than Americans right now. I don't think they villainize each other about who, like, who's vaccinated and who's not, even though that's a touchy subject. But you, sh you shouldn't like not be, well... I guess not inviting family over because that that especially with older I guess that actually is a technical reason but not villainize and hate people for opposite opinions it's just that, sorry I don't rant on politics much and I'm not picking sides but both that's why I'm I'm orange I'm 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 orange pilled I'm orange I'm down like libertarian like most people here are libertarians anyway and most of you know that the two major parties in America have their large areas of opportunity regardless of party you come from anyway that's that, that's my I've never talked about that kind of stuff before but whatever you got it from me so here we go and my wife is in Mexico right now so I get to go a little bit longer because I can get fat for a week and I don't have to go to the gym <laughs> now I'm probably gonna run though all right Tim your words can be described okay boom 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 KDA good morning everybody I've been holding 100% tether since your video about dude yes um okay what what is Nelzalaz Nelzalaz um, I have free hats to give away. All right. If you, um, so Nels Zalaz, the person who, uh, Eric, can, can you, can he, if I pulled this over here, can you see this? Nels, whoever you are, um, go to the link of my discord as and if you're if you're not a member, I'm not saying sign up. Don't pay money. Just sign up as a new member. And on that page, I want to I want to send you hat if you live in the states. If you're not in the states, so even Alaska or Hawaii is fine. That's okay. I'll, I'll pay the extra shipping. But I can't do custom stuff. I don't know why. I'm, I'm I I must not be smart enough. I couldn't figure it out. But if you're in the states um, or Puerto Rico or whatever. Uh, you can sign up as a member, a, a free member, and you won't be able to see all this crap over here, right? All these things, but you'll be able to see, uh, where is it? Um, uh, da, 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 Discord. Hey, here we go. Discord support. And you can, you can say, Blake, my YouTube, you know, uh, screen name is 
Neil's Elias or whatever, you know, from the live chat of April, April 26th, um, you know, uh, can I DM you my address for that hat? So don't leave your address where other people can see it. Don't don't leave your address here. Like try to stay confidential, but uh, and then you'll you would uh, um, and Blake should be able to see it, and you can scroll up and actually see who Blake is. Hopefully, where where is he? Uh, where's where where is Blake? It's Blake. I am. Let's see here. Well, where is he? Well, I guess other people have been answer a question, but he'll see your question, um, and uh, you should be able to put at Blake to start. Yeah, there you go, Blake. I am forty two. So at Blake, you'll see him pop up, something like that. Don't put your, you know, don't put your address there. If you're United States, do that. I'll send you a hat because I want to congratulate you. You are a person holding tether, and and here's the here's the one thing about it though. Just remember, and I've had to tell my community this a million times. Sometimes when you're tethered up and it's statistically the right thing to do, just remember Bitcoin has the habit of telling you it's smartest to hold tether, but then it'll do a bull trap. Bitcoin could have a mega bull trap that goes all the way up to 61, 62 because everybody's going to short at 50 and 52 it's going to liquidate them that everybody's going to short at 57 to 56. Everybody will get liquidated if it goes to 62 during that time. If you want to play part of that party, I would still stay half in tether for Pokemon cards. If you see the potential for a big ass bull trap here, only play around with half and when you enter, set stops even on spot so that when you get your flash crash, you only lose a certain percent and you're all in tether again. Does that make sense? So if you see a potential party happening, because Bitcoin has, has an like, awesome habit of doing that, it's obviously better to hold tether, but then it starts screaming up to get everybody to start buying in before it drops. So if you see that, only play around with half and stay half tethered up because it's still possible I'm telling you, a move up to 62 to 63K can happen because the charts are saying 50 and 50 to 52 for an obstacle, 56 to 57 for obstacle. But I think the whales might be planning to pump it all the way up to 62K to get a double short squeeze. And they're going to make a shit ton of money and it, then it's going to drop straight to 37. It's going to bounce, then drop straight to 29, bounce it back into the 30s, then go straight to 21,300. That is like my third most probable guess. If I had to guess one thing, I, I at this point, it looks like it's just going to drop straight down. <laughs> but that would probably be the third most likely scenario. So that's the hard thing when you're holding that much tether. And I want to send you a hat. Um, if you're in the United States, so please do that and uh, send Blake a message. Um, but just remember, if there is some type of party started, only play with half your Pokemon cards to try to play that party, knowing that you want to become a seller because that party is going to end soon. It's so easy to see everybody say, "Ooh, you know, like Luna's up 100 percent and I'm holding all tether. I'm missing out FOMO. No, don't. You can get a little fear of missing out, but only play with half and be ready to sell and set stops. Okay, that's my rant on that. So thank you for letting me know. Like it makes me feel so much better. Somebody's freaking holding tether. All right, I have some. Uh, I have a long term. Uh, okay, welcome to the Cryptillion tier, Dave Carlson, um, a loyalty member for three months. So I got to take it. Harrison. You made three months now. I mean, it makes sense. You ask more questions than anybody bit eye on here. So, all right. So, uh, like, you're not seeing my chats as a well. I, actually, I have. I've only Harrison. I've answered like two questions. I'm not doing a very good job today answering any questions because I'm ranting today. <laughs> all right, let me look at Harrison's questions. He's my longest term loyal. He's my longest term YouTube member. So here we go. Okay, I'm ignoring Harrison. I am so sorry. V. The hell does that say? VXW. Try to do capital letters for me. I can barely see that. VXW. Okay, where else is Harrison? I have a question. Hint. Okay. All right. You have. What the hell does that say? Metis. Okay, so here we go. Metis. No. No. Don't even think about it. This is price discovery down. This is not something you want to even consider DCAing in. Um, it came out 
and so see, it came out in March. What is it? No, no. It, it's it's what you want to see is you want it to come up to try to hit this, and then see it can if it can form a higher low. But it, it that's if it's able to get up here, which it probably won't. It might keep going down and then try to rival something here and then make a higher low. And when you see it start turning out, that's when you want to start DCAing. You don't DCA into something straight down. This is an absolute no no. Don't eat like not financial advice. This is one where you don't even want to look at for a month. Revisit it in a month because it'll take that long for it to try to make um, to test, you know, to make a, a lower high and then to see if it can make a higher low. So a lot of times, so that aggressive down, don't expect it to form a higher local high. Expect it to form another lower high. But here's the trick. When it comes down, see if it can form a higher low. And that is when you only become like 5% interested in considering it because it's still probably to keep going down. This is like, that's a no-no. That is a no-no. Um, not even for DCAing. You are better off holding tether than trying to catch this. Wait for it to come up to some horizontal like this. And don't just buy when it's here because it could just keep going straight down. Wait till it, it makes a curve and closes a daily candle grain or has several four-hour candles grain. That's when you want to begin to think to lightly. So let's say if you want $1,000 of this stuff, after it hits a higher low and begins to turn around, and you want to you buy want to buy a thousand dollars of Metis, only hit it with like a hundred and fifty bucks at that time. You're still not confident at that level. I'm telling you, this is bad. This is bad. And some people say, oh, it's way down. You know, like what is it, 92 percent down? No, it's only sixty six percent. Yeah. So this this is pro this is probably gonna go ninety five percent down. Um, it's gonna it's dude. This is gonna go a lot lot lower. This is gonna hit like this, <laughs> dude. This is yeah. This is like don't even consider. It's probably gonna hit thirteen bucks. And if you don't like that answer, too bad. That's that's. I'm telling you what it's probably gonna hit. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. The most probable thing that have to happen. And I'm sorry if I'm giving you an answer that you really didn't want. But once you see it happen or anything close to what I just said happens, you're going to thank me later. And that's that's what it's about. Be mad at my answer now, but once you see I'm right or close to right or my version is way closer than your guess, you're going to come back and thank me. That's just how it works. All right. Am I always correct? No, but I mean, especially if you ask my wife. Um, actually, uh, so Harrison asked HNT. I got to get Harrison's questions. He's my longest uh, term uh, uh YouTube member on here right now uh, for the YouTube tiers. And again, you can check those out by hitting jo the join button below and a quick 30 second video shows what you get. This chart is healthier. This looks more like Kadena though. You're gonna have a line like this and it's already past it. Uh, and then you're mixed with the horizontal. Oh God. Uh, right like this. It's the same. This is the same thing as Kadena. It's the same. It's the same analysis. Uh, but in this one, you don't have a chance to tether up all the way at this line. Your best chance, if you are holding this, is a par a line parallel to this, somewhere around. Maybe not even that one. It'll be the next one down. It'll be that one. If so, if buyers defend this, uh, obviously horizontal, so it was resistance, 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 support, you know, support, support, so the top of the support. If buyers can hold this up, it goes on a rally. And if you happen to see it at 30, just anywhere near 34 bucks, and again, not financial advice, this is Pokemon cards only. I mean, hell, if you see it get up to. You see it get up to 24, between 24 and 34, and you're one of those people on the poll who said you're holding 0 to 10% tether, 24 to 34, that's when you want to start rocking and rolling and increasing your tether bags on a Pokemon card, education, entertainment only, We're talking about the old style Pokemon that's on bl black and white, Pokemon green, Pokemon red, Pokemon silver, 24 to 34 bucks, 
that's when you want to tether up. However, I don't know if buyers are going to defend this. This looks, this really could, the, it's the same thing as Karina. It's going to go, it's going to come straight to, it's going to come straight to here when it falls, which is another 60%. And if it starts falling before Bitcoin has a drop, that means it'll drop 60% on top of where it is, which means it'll overshoot it and go to the next one. And it's going to hit this area here. If it starts, so if it breaks this box before Bitcoin drops and then Bitcoin drops, it's coming to this section here, somewhere closer to four bucks. This is at a critical juncture. I mean, honestly, it's Kadena and this, it's the same thing, but at least Kadena has a better chance of coming up and hitting that top, the, the most important line. This one, you, you're three origin lines down. You, you, your best, like it, it literally has a single digit percentage chance to have a rally to 34 bucks, but it could happen, which is why I'm saying 24 to 34, start loading up tether um on pokemon cards not financial advice not a financial advisor okay what's well, harrison's other question I'm gonna, oh, damn I'm, this is gonna go long at least my wife's not here to tap on my door and say let's go to the gym all right closest verdes i'm still here um i don't know if i have it in do i have an imposter i didn't put i'm still here i don't think i wrote that if you see somebody whose name is Costas Verdes on here telling you about trading or something and like asking you to trade your money, it's not me. Um, I don't remember saying I'm still here. Okay. Tim, you just woke up. Hey, Nico, shut up. I went to bed at like 4 a.m. I got six hours of sleep. I did just wake up. <laughs> I did just wake up. Um, but I've been work because I, I do. I, I, I burn the midnight oil so much better. My, my, I'm just more creative and I get more shit done because everything's quiet and no one is bothering me and the birds are quiet and, and just, just, yeah, I get more done. I love staying up until the sun. The sun. I like staying up till the sun rises. Really, I like watching the sunrise, and then going to bed and sleeping four hours, and then taking an hour and a half nap later if I have to get a lot done. Tim, I agree with you. However, I also think market makers will want to suck in more people by making them bullish and then capitulate. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. But right now, it really doesn't look like that's. I think it's the third most likely. I don't think we're going to get that big bull trap. I think it's going to go straight down, folks. I think. Uh, I think shorters are going to. Right now, it's on Team Short for sure. Oh, I've only got two minutes to stop by and say hi. I like the new content. Thanks, Pure Malice. Oh, Pure Malice. Um, if you're you were my Omi guy, right? Were you my Omi guy, Pure Malice? Um, dude, yeah. Uh, uh, hit up Blake. Um, do the same thing, or I'll reach out to you. I think you're a friend on Discord. Um, I want you to come check it out in May, so I'll make sure that you uh are um able to join. And if you want like a a, a five day coupon, since I already know you've been a you were a paying member for months, months and months and months. I'll give you, a, you know, like a five to ten day thing to try it out to see, you know, if you like the new setup better, which you will like it better. That, like, I'm guaranteeing it. But uh, feel free to reach out since you were a long term um, customer anyway. And uh, yeah, just let Blake know. Hey, just Tim said, give me a ten day uh, a ten day coupon um, for VIP, and and we'll be good to go. And that, and you'll see the trans transition from what I'm doing now till May first. Within that ten days, you'll see the transition. Or even if you ask him for a fifteen day, whatever, just just ask Blake. All right, because um, I already know you know how to get old. All right, H and T. Already did I do it? Yeah, that was H and T. Come on, Harrison. All right, VXW. All right, VXW. I I can't I can't make a um I can't uh oh VXV. Okay. VX Tim doesn't have coffee in the system. <sighs> wow. Oh my. Are you? Are you? What the hell? V. This can't be right. VXV Tether. Okay, I was going to say. If that were real crypto, I would only trade that crypto. That was the best range ever, and you could literally be a millionaire within six months trading that. <laughs> like, buy the bottom, sell the top, over, 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 and over. Like, you'd be a millionaire trading whatever the whatever the hell that was. All right, VXV. It broke below this trend line. It's so you have 
here now that so this was the top option option one was is it sticks its landing here it didn't now obviously that's not the top option 45 degree angle something like this it's still within there barely so it could be holding on to form a higher low maybe but if it's so if you use that projector tool which can you let me see can you see how i do this on the left let me uh yeah you can you can see over here so uh take a look at what i'm doing with my mouse over here see so it's one so one two three four five six seven tools down you might have to click on the expander thing and it's called the projection tool and when you do it freaking star it because then it, it shows up on a box up here like this and then you can just click it like here right you don't ever have to look for it anyway so 45 degree angle it's still in it it's still kind of safe but that was a pretty big horizontal to to drop below so it looks like uh, I don't think the next most probable is that it holds that it could that would be maybe my second or third most probable at this point I think most probable is it is going to hit a horizontal here or actually I mean it, it could make a yeah it, it might do it around where it is now and then it's going to make a lower high it's coming back down it's going to break through and I think it's going to make lower lows. And I think that's all going to happen by the middle of May. That's what I think is going to happen. And this, and if Bitcoin capitulates, it's going a shit ton lower. I mean, like down to 75 cents low. Okay. That should be about a 70% drop from here. Nope. 60%. It's that that's only, so if Bitcoin doesn't capitulate well and just, and Bitcoin doesn't do the whole 60 K bull, bull trap and just keeps floundering around 37 K to 40 K, it's still going to do this. It might not hit this low, but it's going to hit here. It's going to make a lower high. Maybe not even that high. This is too weak. Maybe something like this and s snapshot this. So if you like this, take a quick snapshot. And if you can't snapshot it, it is at minute on this live chat. How the hell far am I in? At an hour 26. An hour, tw hour and 26 minutes. That is my main guess. And I honestly, if I had to make a super guess, I think it breaks below there. All right. And I would guess 60% down from that point. It like said, that would be my main guess. But if I want to just do a normal guess, this would be my guess. All right. And I only gave you the top probability because it looks pretty damn probable. And I don't I don't think you need a top three most probable. Like because going up is not really an option for it right now. Until until Bitcoin gets until Bitcoin goes on a bull trap, um it's 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 not in the cards. Tim, are you even absolute yo, oh, you are an absolute legend, but your cat is better than you. Get him back. <laughs> um uh that's funny. <laughs> I have six freaking cats. And I'm not a. They, I don't let them inside, so they're all outdoor cats because I live in the country and they're, they're not getting killed on the road or anything. But I have I have one that always wants to come in. She's the mama cat. Um, I finally got her fixed, and then I and then, then she had two. She had uh, four babies, and the two girls I got them fixed. I don't want any more cats. And then what happened? One of my boy cats got some neighbor like some feral cat pregnant and out of the litter one of the cats follow the dad who looks just like him and now we have we adopted it. and so i turned a feral cat it took him a whole month and a half to let us pet him um i slowly trained him that hey i'm not coming close to you so you gotta like cats are weird right you can't say come here you have to leave them alone you gotta show them hey if i'm walking towards you i'm walking really slow and i'm not you, they, you gotta let, it's hard, it takes a whole month and a half to get, like, even like a quarter of a percent of a trust, but anyway, it, it took about three months, but I turned a feral cat into a house cat, so, and we got a collar on and everything, and he's, he's probably about three quarters grown, so, I didn't fix my boy cats, and I accidentally now have a sex cat, anyway, so that's me, um, I almost have as many cats as I do chickens, <laughs> damn it, all right, um, all right, Tim, you just woke up. Yes, Tether, 100%. Bam, I'm still here. Great. Okay, Harrison, got your questions. What's up with BPRO? BPRO, um, let's do... Yeah, we haven't done BPRO today on this live recording that I do. Uh, so let's hit some BPRO, get this recorded, and let me... And again, BPRO is a main community coin. If you like BPRO, okay, 
This is where the Discord's going to be helpful, even the lower tier, because I've recently changed access to the lower tiers that if you want to spot trade B Pro, you have a group of B Pro nerds, probably not in the futures area. OK, so B Pro isn't traded on futures, but in the small cap coins, B Pro's on top for a reason. Obviously, it's under others and new coin listings, but, and look, it just, like, people, I mean, today, I mean, just look, like, like, small is making comments here and on my live chat at the same freaking time. Look, <laughs> like, this is a B, like, people love B Pro in my community, and we are trying to accumulate, like, tens of millions of it a piece. Everybody, we all want 10 million at least, okay? Um, I'm waiting for a capitulation to get my other, I want another six or 8 million, um, personally, but, um, but I'm, I'm only holding 25% of the B pro I want. If you're a B pro fan and you want to learn how to trade it with other people's accumulate it with other people's money, there are all sorts of trading styles. So all it did was break it below its 10. Look, week, so weekly 10, um, nothing big. It's still, honestly, it still looks okay. It's below its weekly 10, trying to get up. Uh, so draw the projector tool. This is where it starts getting scary. If it starts breaking below there, then you can start getting scared that it'll break below this low. Um, so here, here it is. The first step was it needs to hold the weekly 10. It did not because uh, Bitcoin's been falling. That was step one. Now that that's next, then your projector tool is next. Um, can you see my screen? Or is my stupid face covering everything? Yes, you can see me. Okay, so next shot is the uh, projector tool. It's still in there. That's your next hope. If the projector tool, which is roughly 45 degree angle, if I'm, I'm telling you, the projector tool works. And when you when you compare my analysis to people who say, ooh, the, the fib retracements, guess what? My shit hits exactly on those fib retracements. The stuff I do, I don't need fibs because it aligns with the fibs. Magically, I don't know how it just does. My origin lines are like, like I don't use Fibonacci retracements because when you watch my channel, plus people who use Fibonacci retracements, and I tell you 42k is a key level. Watch a Fibonacci person, 42k is a key level. I can just see it in other ways. I don't need fibs because I just see them. It's like, um, what, what's a good way to say this? Uh, um. It's like reading. It's like reading a, a a chapter in Harry Potter, right? But you focused more on the top half of the of exciting page, and I liked the bottom half of this page during this really exciting moment, right? And we're just focusing on slightly different things, but we're reading the same story. Does that make sense? Fibonacci users versus non-Fibonacci users. It's the same book. It's the same story. It's just a different page, and you're reading the same thing. It's, it's, I could have come up with a better analogy, so whatever. But you know what I'm talking about. All right, so the next thing is this. If, this, if the projector tool doesn't hold, and I swear it works, start using projector tool 45 degree angle from the low. The, ne the next, it's this. It's coming back down to 0.0025. So you better hope that days don't start closing under 0 0.0032 um, because it's going straight to 0 0.0025. So, but this is a very, con this projector tool works because crypto loves 45 degree angle lower, higher lows. And that's it. Those are your three steps. Step one already broke. So now we're on step two. The projector holds. Step three is this horizontal 0 0.0025. There is really no talk of upside because Bitcoin has not done the four conditions it needs to do to even have a 51% edge to the upside. So you're you're not focusing on conditions for the upside. It's a waste of time to even think about B Pro needs to do this to get bullish. No, not until Bitcoin does it. When Bitcoin meets its conditions, we can talk about B Pro going up. But until then, you only talk about lower targets to try to determine where it's going to bounce. That's your B Pro. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And I. I, honestly, I wish I could tell you, P pro to four cents, right? Because then I would have a lot more money. <laughs> like it, we, we all would, but it's not. It's not. It it might hit a higher low there. I wish I had better news. 
as a Beepro channel. But again, if you you don't and in my community, get my where, how do I make my, get my dumbass face off here? In my community, it doesn't have to be going up to make money. So these people who are 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 the Beepro freaks who are all like like that's what they're because they don't like to play around with features as much, which is why spot trade. You know, it's spot trade is better to do when you're learning how to trade. Really, um, you actually need Beepro to go down because you can't short it. That's when you pick it back up and then plan to be a seller again, right? At specific, uh, very specific spots. So Beepro going down is actually necessary to accumulate it. If you want more B Pro, you can't have it continue to go straight up. You need it to come down so you can use other people's money to have more of it for when it does go up. Does that make sense? So these downturns, because you can't use futures to make money off of uh, off of a B Pro down move, you want B Pro to go down if you want more B Pro, right? I invented the song and and and, and trademark it. You gotta gotta get down to get up. Gotta gotta get down to get up. No, that was a 90s. I'm saying it backwards, a 90s rap song. But anyway, you got to got to get down to accumulate. And that's it. So if you're a B Pro person, check out the community, lower uh, tier. But you um, really, the Cryptillion tier isn't going to change much between now and May. So if you just want to be able to, uh, you know, do that, have access to that, I mean, feel free to uh, use the links that you can see in the description section now. And uh, but it's mostly the higher tiers, people wanting to do uh, trade futures and um, and uh, other stuff like that. That's Those are the people who would want to wait till May. But if you want to do a lower tier, check out the spot trade stuff. You can go ahead and uh, uh, sign up for Discord right now. Don't don't hesitate. All right, so that's me, bro. Okay. Whoo, man! I cannot believe I don't have to almost pee my pants yet. Been drinking coffee and been on this call for an hour, like over uh, an hour and a half. Um, what else do we got? Nick from Cryptillions, what's your B pro? Yeah, so we got it. I, I think I have to get off here, guys. I'm going too long. Can you have a look at, I mean, Toko, um, maybe. Uh, so, OTA. Okay, I can't, okay, I can't skip OTA. Cool says, check out Harrison Engines. Yeah, I already did it. I didn't skip people, really. I just, I was just too long winded. XRP. Um, hey, I'm going to rejoin the VIP next week. Thoughts on XRP? I'm hodling XRP. Um, I, I am choosing not even to 20 bag it. I am only accumulating with, uh, with capital on the side. Um, and I'm only doing that during dips. I am protecting my XRP more than I am anything, even dash. I am only accumulating with capital during dips. That's my personal strategy. I could probably use other people's money to accumulate XRP, but XRP is so volatile. Um, can, wait, where's what's my screen looking like for you? Uh, where am I? I'm still streaming. Good. So I mean, XRP is hard to trade, and it's hard to like like not financial advice. Don't try to trade this on futures unless you're using and unless you're doing like five minute to fifteen minute candles, maybe, and you're in and out of trade within one to four hours, maybe. But if you're trying to swing trade this shit and you're waiting for a move to happen for days, you're going to get screwed. This is XRP is hard to trade. And if you want to try to trade it, try spot trade because look, it's still volatile enough. Imagine you put a thousand dollars in over here. You wait how many days, 14 days to have $1,500 in 14 days with no leverage because it went up 50%. But it can also do the opposite. If you think you're getting a great buy here because it's leveling out and you buy here, within 14 days, you can be down 50%. <laughs> it's really tough to trade. And again, TA is not trading. It is like, uh, so who gave me a good analogy? Uh, oh, like the poker stuff, whoever said that. But just because you have good TA doesn't mean you know how to use it to make money. Um, and I learned that the hard way in 2018 and I had to blow my account, uh, like five times to figure it out. I know I blew my account a few times in 2018 and only once in 2019 and once 2020 hit, I finally became profitable a uh, long time, but it took a long time. XRP down. It's a good time to honestly, it's a good time. You know, if I had an extra, if I found a hundred dollar bill on the floor, um, I would buy a hundred dollars worth of XRP right now because I'm not trying to trade it. I just want more. Looks good to me. Even though my analysis is that Bitcoin's going to keep coming down. So you probably want a better analysis. Uh, it looks like it's going to 
hit this box right here, make a lower high. It's going to hit somewhere around 58, make a lower high, then it's going to 51 because this is an origin line. So 58 to 69 to 51. There you go. That's your XRP analysis. Damn, I should have recorded that. All right, so XRP, let me do this one more time more clearly. Not without all the rants about I just hodl this. Um, you see how this origin line here, okay? It goes back, back way in time. Support, support. This wick support. Got support. Got rejected by the weekly. See this red line? That's the most important EMA. The most important one indicator of all crypto. It got rejected. So you had a low, a lower high, lower low rejection from there, which means you're go you're going to break the origin line. So here, so there are no conditions for up until Bitcoin's for conditions for up. So you have no reason to look for upside targets until Bitcoin. You watch my Bitcoin videos, okay? And those conditions are met. Therefore, all you talk about is downside where might be good bounce points. The next one is going to be around this wick low, right? For some reason, wick lows get a lot of act activity and it also gets a wick high. So it's going to be a box. You're going to see some activity in the box somewhere on both between like roughly 60 to 64 so some, let's say 62 plus or minus it's going to hit this it's going to make in my guess a lower high somewhere around 73 69 so I, i'm gonna say 62 lower high at 69 and then i think it's ultimately coming down to 49 cents and that's with the assumption i'm bearish on bitcoin bitcoin's getting more bearish will my guess change should Bitcoin complete the task of getting above its weekly 10 and using it as support? Yes, I will come back here and change my thoughts. But as of now, that's my number one guess. That's the exact path that, you know, and each of these could be off by like a few cents, right? So that's down to 62 plus or minus, you know, it could be 63, could be 61, up to 68 to 72, down to 47, you know, to 51. But these are, these are the guesses on how it's going to go. Bounce, lower high, down lower, 49 cents. That's my XRP analysis. And again, I'm hodling XRP. If I see that shit under 50 cents, like I'm going to start, like I'm going to sell my golf clubs and sell shit in my house. Uh, I'm not selling my bowling balls though. Have a nice, uh, have a nice bowling ball bag. Um, but um, I, I don't know. I, I'm looking around for shit to sell <laughs> i'm gonna sell i'm gonna sell something to buy xrp or like i don't know probably not my car but or not my house um you can't sell sell children or wives anymore um i don't know i would find something anyway i'm just joking i would i would uh i would use the tether that i'm holding
Whatever, you couldn't hear me. I got to end the stream anyway. I'm way too far over. Uh, thanks for thanks for being here. Sorry, my computer turned off. I forgot I, you couldn't hear me. Uh, but try us. It looks you saw the levels. It looks like it's gonna hit 383, make a uh, lower high, and then it, it could come down a lot lower, down to uh, three dollars. So we'll see you next time. Sorry, I had computer difficulties, but I gave you 45 minutes.